Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to export SQL Azure database in a backpack file and then import that in a on-premise server, ok? So we will first of all export the SQL Azure database in the Azure platform and then import that backpack file in the on-premise database. So for this, in our Microsoft Azure portal, we have first gone to the storage accounts, right? So we have one storage account. Now let us go to BLOPS. Now we can see I have created three containers right now, okay? And the access type of these three containers are different because when we create a new container, it provides us three options. So I have created three containers, one for each type. Out of which we will use the first container to store our beta database backup for this particular demo. So these are the two databases. We will use DB for Azure database to export the backpack file. So let us click export button. This will submit a request to the import export service of Azure platform and this service runs in background. Okay. So this is the name of the file. Now for storage location, we will have to select the storage account. Inside storage account, we will go and select the first container. Let us click select. Let us click OK. So this is the name with which the new file will get created. Okay, so the re request has been submitted for the export. Okay, and we can see the details in the import export history. Okay. So if we click on it, it will take us to the import export history page. If you want to navigate it from dashboard, then let us see how to navigate. We have to first of all go to our server. Then we have to scroll down. Over here we will find import export history. So if we click it, then we can again come go back to that same page. That is a page for import export history. And it shows us the details about that import export. That is when it was started, when it ended, etc. Okay, so typically it may take around 10 to 15 minutes for this import export operation to happen. As the last import operation had taken 16 minutes. So I will just shorten the video when it, the export process is going on. So let us go to our storage account again. And let us go to the access keys. Okay. Now this is the name of the storage account and this is the access keys. Now in this video, right now I have not started the export process and I will use the export that I had done earlier because it took 16 minutes. Okay. So I will reuse that export. So let us go to Azure storage. Let us provide that access key over here. So that we are providing name of the account and the access key, which we had seen on the access key page in Microsoft Azure portal. So let us click connect. So now if we go to containers and if we go to the first container, 
then we will find the file that I had exported earlier and it had taken 60 minutes, right? We have seen that. So this is the backpack file. So now we know how to export the file and we know how to access it from XSMS, right? So this file is lying in this first container, right? So this is the file. Okay, which had been earlier exported and it had taken 16 minutes to export, right? Okay, so these file names are matching in SSMS and in the Microsoft Azure platform portal. So now we are ready to import this backpack file in our in-premise database server instance. So let us click right click and say import data tire application. It will start this wizard. Now it has taken the details related to the backpack file automatically, but we need to provide to which local in premise server we want to import. So let us provide the server name of the in premise database to which we want to import. Right, and this is the name with which the database will be created. So let us just rename it. So we have given the name of db for azure backpack from azure okay so this is the name that we are giving let us click finish so now it is importing the database and once the wizard is complete we will see this database created in our local in in premise database instance so let us refresh oh so there is some connection issue so let us disconnect it let us try again okay there is some connection issue so let us disconnect it and let us connect back okay let us connect to the same instance again okay so now we are able to see the DB for Azure backpack from Azure database which has been newly created with the help of our wizard. And if we go to the tables, then we can see that along with the structure it has also imported the data. So I hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you. Thank you.